Hello everybody, Michael here, and today we'll be doing Guild Wars Prophecies Hard Mode Remastered number 4, the Alani Academy. In this mission, uh, I cannot use Elias anymore. Instead, I'll be using a hero called Gorin, a warrior hero that is found in Nightfall. Uh, I've made a build called Belly Shaker, which basically spams Earth Shaker, knocks them down, and uses Belly Smash to blind them. Which is extremely useful with the ghosts um, because they're all warriors, the melee. Uh, a slight change in Master Whispers. Again, I need Healing Seed, but I don't, I don't really need two hex removals for this mission. So I'm removing the one with the higher recharge reload um, time, which is Cure Hex, and I'm switching him for Vigorous Spirit because I will be tanking this mission instead of ranging this time. So. The build I choose is that I named it Super Assassin 1.5 90%. This is one of my best tank builds because it, because I have a 90% chance of healing myself, as well as um, keeping all my three enchantment, all my two enchantments back on. Livia is the same, Master is the same uh, attributes. Gorn is a 14-12-3 with 14 strength. Um, it's basically structured to have as high HP as possible. His weapon is a adrenaline plus fortitude and 15 to 50 HP percent HP. As soon as you load the screen, make a left. Don't proceed to this direction. And open the gate. If you do that, work will come uh, after you after you clean up the mob and then you will not be able to complete the bonus in time as work will attempt to go straight this time two warriors power up the build like the hero I don't know why Gorn didn't uh, defend. Luckily, Livia is uh, able to protect the back with her spirits. You just continue the path. There will be a uh, one bug spawn around here. Usually a uh, necromancer. Wow. This has never happened before, so this is interesting. Um, I like Vigor Spirit and Way of Perfection on, because as a tank, I get, I get heals from my own enchantment, 16 HP every time I hit a critical, and Vigor Spirit every time I just attack. So that's 17 plus 16 HP per second, almost. Yeah, the stand should be off now. There will be a spawn around here. Two bows. Then there will be a slight mob around here. Definitely be sure to flag Master's back in case it gets ugly. And then just release the flag when the when the foes lock into your tar to their target, like right now. Another thing that I added to Goron that I did not mention earlier is the stone fist insignia it uh... It, it's you it can stack up with my earth shaker so any foe that's uh... infected by earth shaker 
all gets knocked down for an extra second. Watch the Agrego circle from here. You don't want to attract unnecessary attention. And then here you'll notice that there's an NPC. He'll give you a tome after he's finished with his speech. Pick it up and proceed in this general direction. Past the bridge. Hmm, that foe isn't letting me pass. No, he's not. Cast a spirit to knock off their attention. Try not to fight unless you really have to, or if you're just stacking on minions. And if you know neither is the case, you shouldn't be fighting at all. Up here. Another mob, there's another mob here in case I forget to mention it. Well, this is interesting. Sometimes an extra so it pops up and sometimes a group of mobs don't show up. Okay. But just keep aware at that at these two spots though. You might not be so lucky as me. Uh the two spots that I just flared, they usually come in packs of three to four. And they're mixed. So while you're holding a tome, cross this bridge. This direction proceeds with the bonus, this direction proceeds with the mission. There are slight pop-ups along the along the way. So be ready. You always want to intercept the warrior because they're going straight for your squishies. That's how they've been programmed. Kill the ranger before it turns on his uh, turns back on his stance. Should be another one around here, and then. Because Gorn is an ally slash party member, he can trigger pop-ups and ambushes. So you have to be very careful when you're flagging him, as he's in a melee character. If you're unsure of the surrounding, just do this without attracting ghosts. Because you'll be proceeding this direction. You want to make sure that there's no spawn around here.
as I fight the ghost, I'll be tanking. Goron won't actually be doing anything, to be honest, besides uh, defending. Super Assassin 1.5, I designed him to be a complete tank, able to heal himself without any help at all. It can be used for certain farming spots, but not all. If you're paying attention to the screen, you'll notice that that this build has an incredibly large um, chance of hitting criticals. This is a 90% chance. Topped with these two and my 1615-3 attribute style. Watch your watch your Grego circle and your placement. Once you've gotten them into this ball like this, you're perfect. Watch out for your for your uh, point blank AOE, like what I'm doing right now and what Gorn's using. This PB AOE style is point blank, and we'll have AOE attributes. Any type of AOE, especially ignite arrows, will push away your target. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not good. It's good if you want to, you know, push them away from something, but definitely not good if you're trying to tank and, and ball them up in one area. There aren't any more pop ups, but you'd be very careful here. You definitely do not want to attract this unnecessary attention here, as it could get ugly and ultimately wipe your party. Like this target. I'm just gonna run for it. Okay. have to make sure Olivia stays alive. Good. If you noticed, um, if you have Grego any of the targets, they won't disappear like this top of the section here before. Somehow I wasn't watching and my part of the circle here Greg with them. After you cash in a tome, a ghost will a ghost will spawn. Talk to him and that's the bonus. As you proceed along the mission path, there will be two parties that come that come uh, this direction. They come in units of two.
again. Watch the meteor shower. Okay. This at this point is where most parties die. Either you're not careful and they shoot arrows and they kill you there, or your heroes trigger the rangers and you're unaware of this, but by the time you pull this mob, the rangers come with you. Like I said before, you don't want unnecessary part uh, foes at the same time. What I like to do is I make myself a tank. Or at least attempt to. Try to pull in this direction. Okay, apparently that failed miserably. Make sure to go to this corner so you don't pull anything. Set up a small ambush and hold your ground. Go for the first warrior that's closest to you. This is when healing seed is very good as there's splash AoE healing. Let yourself be the tank. You have critical defense on. Even even without critical defense, I can heal very rapidly due to my two enchantments. After you kill this rain, this char group here, flag your heroes up to this point and attempt an earshot pull. This all this will nearly always works. As the char come up here, intercept them. Very careful, of meteor char. After the, after the uh, small threat is gone, proceed with the mission. Shoot an arrow to pull them. Do not run forward. If you get if you get around this area, this this group will automatically charge in, and the door will open, and Warg will mostly die. Do not be like Gorn and, you know, stay in the AoE area. As soon as I kill this boss, this group will start. Ready up a, ready up a small preparation and charge in to intercept all four warriors. The reason why the door did not open is that I forgot to mention about these rangers. If you, if you do not kill that ranger that ranger uh, group, the door will not open. But for some reason, if this group is not killed, the door opens regardless. If this if this uh, group is uh, slain, kill the ranger group. 
and the door will open. What I just picked up, and I am very sorry that I did not mention this earlier, what I just picked up is a blue rune armor. Always identify them, especially in hard mode, as most of them carry a special rune like this um, that I always cannot uh, pronounce. The This one and attunement are one of the... well they have good selling price in the rune trader and they're good for heroes. I'm pretty sure this... well I don't use it. So salvage. Ex uh, superior salvage armor that are over 30. If you do that you have a high you have a higher chance of getting a rare material like this such as this. Go up uh, the bridge and wait with the watchman as work will slowly jog up. How much time do I have left? I can't believe this mission is it's longer than Great Northern Wall. After we uh, finish watching the clip, immediately proceed to this direction. Do not continue to your left. If you continue to your left, well, Rourke is going to get himself killed because you won't catch him in time. And second, if you go to the right, this is the path of the glitch. All you need to do is kill three foes and the mission will automatically end making this one of the most fastest missions to be run. If it wasn't for my if it wasn't for the ghost bonus, I could have easily finished this mission in twelve minutes. One time I discovered this glitch as I was mapping uh, this mission. These two foes and the boss that's upstairs. Kill those three and then game over. If you do not kill them fast enough, the secondary clip will uh, will activate, and then you'll have a well a slight of a problem because the mob that comes after a clip is usually very dangerous, and is also the other reason why most parties fail this mission as well. As I close in into the as I cl as I get closer to my target, be very aware that he will try to use lava font. Thank God for Earthshaker. And that's it for Nolani Academy. We see ourselves at Yak's Ben and we check the Young Sierra book, and there it is, page 5. I'll see you guys later for a Borderless Pass. See ya.